Okay, so for today's uh, tutorial, this is the garment you're going to be making. Let's see if I can open it up so you can see the stitches. There you go. But yeah, that's the stitches you're going to be working. Some single crochet rows, some triangle rows, single crochet, some treble cross stitches, and back to single. And you're just going to repeat that. The bottom is just single crochet row uh, for a couple edges. This right here is just the ribbed edging for the um, garment around the front. And then you will seam up your sides like this right here. So you, this will be worked in a back panel right here and then two front panels. And then you will be making some sleeves right there. And you can make the sleeves as long as you want and you don't even have to have sleeves on them you can just single crochet around the edge if you want um but yeah that's the garment that you will be making today and it's just i think the stitching is just beautiful so this so this garment that you will be making today, this is actually a collaboration with uh, me, Pamela, from Pamela's Adoring Crochet, and Alyssa from Llama Unraveled Crochet. We are sharing this pattern right here. The uh, triangle stitch is my stitch, and the treble cross stitch is her stitch that, um, not that we created them, but these are like our favorite stitches. And that was my favorite stitch right here. I love the look of that. And this is her, uh, Alyssa from Llama Unraveled Crochet. This is her favorite stitch. She loves the look of that. And so we just combined our two stitches and made this garment. And on my, um, in this tutorial, in this tutorial, in the description link below, I will leave a link to the pattern, the written pattern. And I have the tutorial and she has the written pattern. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what supplies you're going to need for this. Um, I did use a three weight yarn, a, a DK. This yarn is sponsored uh, by Gia from yarnnut.com. I'll leave the link below. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel, uh, Yarn Nut Crochet. And um, I'll leave that link below as well. So thank you, Gia, for sponsoring this for Alyssa and for me. And um, now Gia on her yarnnut.com, she will have a, um, a yarn kit. So like if you would like to make this, she will have my, she will have the written pattern and she will have all the yarn that you need according to the size that you're wanting to make. Now, I think that this one I made is probably a large. It's between a medium and a large. I used nine balls of this right here. So this is Ice Yarns, the one that I picked. It's Baby Summer DK. Like I said, I'll leave the link below. And it is a three light. A summer DK three weight. There it is. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And I have on here, it is 50 grams, 105 meters is what it says on here, uh, which is a, almost, which is somewhere around like 115 yards. And the color of this one is, uh, I believe it's light yellow was the color on this. So get you some, uh, three weight, three light. DK yarn and uh, for this project you can actually use any yarn any hook size you want it's just you got when you do the swatch you'll know by the swatch how much fabric yarn you need and you'll know if you like that hook size with it um, I am using for this one a K hook which is a 6.5 millimeter hook because I wanted it open lacy airy because it is a summer garment and um, so I used a, a large hook you will need uh, some scissors you will need a yarn needle and um, I like stitch markers here and there and if you have these little clips they're real good to use to seam up your sides on this garment 
now that you've gotten everything that you need, let's go ahead and see what the measurement is of this is. And uh, like I said, I used about nine of these right here. We are going to do a swatch, and that's what you're going to base your yarn size and your hook. But if you do a DK yarn and you're using the, this K hook, um, and you want to go by the numbers that I used, I can tell you that right now, um, but you still need to do your swatch. I did a swatch with mine. That's how I found out that this is what I wanted. I made mine where it's 22 inches in the back, across, all the way across, side to side. From the, uh, I measure like uh, around, I put the measurement on my one side and go around my rear to the other side. Um, and the, I made the garment just a little larger because I like my stuff kind of loose. So that's, I made it 22 inches across. In my front, I made this panel nine inches. Rib right here, and it's almost two inches. So it's 22, nine, and nine as far as the pattern itself and then i added you can your rib can be as small or as wide as you want i made a i made a two inch rib and then the bottom is just probably about an inch yeah the bottom of the single crochet i just did a couple rows it made it actually made it probably a little less than an inch for the swatch we are going to chain 20 but when you get ready to make your garment, you need to make sure that you have a multiple of two plus four. Um, but like I said, for the swatch, we're going to chain 20. Now, what I did when I made mine, I did 64 plus, I added four, which made it 68. And so I started off with a, a chain of 68, and that made it 22 inches across, if that helps you any, that gives you any idea. And then for my side panels, um, I chained 28, which made it nine inches across. Um, and maybe that will help you as well. But everybody's different, so I'm just telling you what my 22, what the 22 inch back and the nine inch front panels what I changed to get those. So somewhere in that ballpark, maybe that'll help you kind of get an idea. So we're going to make a swatch, but this is actually going to be your pattern. And like I said, it just depends on how big or how small you want. So I'm going to start off, um, I'm going to chain 20. And so you all need to do this as a swatch before you actually make your garment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now, if you want to do a foundation single crochet and you know how to do that, go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we've got our chain 20, what we are going to do is we're going to work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's the first and here's our second. So if we work one single crochet in every chain all the way to the end, we'll have 19 single crochets. Okay, so we have 19 single crochets for our swatch. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. Now we're going to start our triangle stitch. Um, so we're going to not do anything to this stitch right here that we did the chain three in. So we're going to start with the next stitch right there. So we're going to yarn over it's basically, we're going to do three half double crochets together. Um, yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through. You got three loops, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You should have seven loops. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, you have seven. Now take your hook and go through all seven loops like that and chain two. Now you have a, a chain three and a three half double crochets together, which create, which the way I did it creates the uh, triangle stitch. And then you chain two. Now for the next one and for the um, each one across, you're going to start in that stitch that you last worked in. So yarn over, search your hook, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have seven loops on your hook, again. Yarn over, pull through all seven, chain two. There's another triangle stitch. Let's do that again. Yarn over, and we're going to start in that same stitch that we just uh, finished. Yarn over, uh, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, and pull through. You should have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven, and chain two. And it should look like this. Okay, we're going to continue that pattern. One, two, three. Insert your hook, pull through all seven loops. Chain two. Okay, let's do that again. We got one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops. Chain two. Let's do it again. One, two, and three. And you should have seven loops. Pull through all seven, chain two. Let's do that again. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all, chain two. Let's do it again. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all seven. Now this time, since we're at the end where we have one left, you're going to chain one. And then you're going to work a half double crochet in that last stitch, just like that. So each one of these had a chain two in them except for this last one, it had a chain one. Okay, so for our next row, we want to do a single crochet row. Every row between the cross stitches and the triangle stitches, every row has a single crochet row. Okay, so we're going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to work a single crochet in that first stitch. And then we're going to work a single crochet in that chain one. And then we're going to work a single, two single crochets in every chain two space. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seventeen, eighteen, and then we're going to do a single crochet in the top of that chain three, which will make it nineteen single crochets all the way across. Okay, so now we are going to start our um, double, I mean our triple crochet cross stitch row. So we're going to chain four. We're going to turn our work and we're going to um, skip this stitch that we chained four and we're going to work a treble crochet in that next stitch. Just like that. Now we're going to go back and work a treble crochet in that skip stitch that we did. And 
There we go. Now we're going to work, we're going to skip this stitch, work a treble in this stitch right here. Okay, and now we're going to go back and work a treble in that skip stitch that we did. There we go. And we're going to continue that. We're going to skip the next stitch, work a treble in the next stitch. And um, I'm assuming you know how to do a treble. It's yarn over twice, insert your hook, uh, pull through, yarn, um, yarn over, yarn through two loops, yarn through two loops, yarn through two loops. All right, so now we're going to do a treble in that one. So yarn over twice and you go to it from the back side yarn pull through go through two loops go through two loops go through two loops and you have crossed okay skip the next stitch treble crochet in that next stitch go through two go through two go through two now we got a treble in this stitch one two three Okay, so skip this stitch and treble crochet in the next stitch. There we go. Now we gotta go back to that one. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And now here's what this is looking like. You see all your little crosses where they crisscross? Look like X's. And yes, this is kind of loopy out here, but once you get your single crochet row going, this won't look like that. It will smooth out. Okay, so skip the next stitch, treble crochet in the next stitch. Oh, skip that stitch. Crochet in the next stitch. And treble crochet in that skip stitch. There we go. And then you know she got one stitch left. So you're going to treble crochet in that one stitch. Okay, and so now you'll notice that um, you have one treble on each end and then your crosses. So now we're going to um, chain one, turn our work, and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across. Starting with the where we did our chain one. So we should, for this sample, we should have 97, I mean 97, we should have 19 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eighteen and one single crochet in that last stitch, nineteen. So you see how that straightened up on the end? I told you whenever you get your single crochet on there, that will straighten up. Let's go and do the triangle. Chain three. And um so you, Okay, so your triangle, um, you're going to have double crochet. Don't start in that first stitch, start in the second, third, and fourth. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And you should have seven loops on your hook. Chain two. And now from here, all the way up to, besides not that last stitch, but all the way across up to that last stitch, you will be work, starting your crochet in that last stitch that you worked. There's one, 
two, and three. And pull all the way across, chain two. Now you're going to do this all the way. Just keep repeating this. That's one, two, three. Instead of chaining two, remember, you chain one. And then you work a half double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, chain one, turn your work. Now we're going to work a single crochet in each chain two space. Um, so th the first one, you work one single crochet in that first stitch, one single crochet in that chain one space. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then one in the chain three. So you have nineteen. So there's pretty much your swatch. Um, you will need to end your pat, uh, stitch pattern with a single crochet. So there's you. what you need to do is single crochet, triangle, single crochet, treble cross, single crochet, triangle, single crochet, and your next one would be treble cross. You just keep repeating you basically repeating these two patterns right here, these two stitches, with a single crochet between every every one of them. So you have a single, right after you did it, you had a single, then your treble, you have a single, then your triangle, you have a single, and then you would do your uh, treble cross, so you would chain four right here and turn your work. So you just keep repeating that same pattern. So yeah, so hopefully um, this will help you. Uh, this will be your swatch right here that you can go by. It's a beautiful pattern and it looks great on. And you can use a smaller hook um, and you can go by your measurements according to the yarn you're using and the hook that you're using. Um, for mine, I did 12 of these triangle rows right here. And um, like I said, I chained 64 plus 4 which it was 68 and then for my front panels that was my back panel for my front panels i chained 28 for that and um for my sleeves i did 41 single crochet but everybody's different you need to make the swatch see how big you want um how many that way you know how many to chain and remember it's a multiple of two plus four i'm going to read a few notes here um, to modify the amount of stitches you need, it should be an odd number. To modify the amount of chains you need, it should be an even number. If you are unsure how big to make your back panel, make sure it is as wide as a cardigan that you like the way that it fits. Your width should be slightly bigger to account for the space that you'll lose sewing the back panel to the side panel. If you would like to make this as a long sleeve version, use double, cro uh, double crochet stitches instead of the treble stitches on the sleeves. Two front panels, you're going to make two. And what you need to do is to determine how many stitches you need or how many chains you need, divide the amount that you have in your section in half. Then divide by two and subtract either one or one and a half so that you have an odd number. For this section, you will want an odd number that is around half of the amount of stitches from the back. But when you add the amount of stitches from both front sides, they do not equal more stitches than your back side. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the assembly part of this now. All right, so I went ahead and um, I've got one side attached over here. I'll open this up already. I've got my armhole and I've seamed all the way down the side. So now we're going to do the 
I'm going, so now I'm going to do the other side and I was going to show you how um, I do that. So one of the most important things you need to watch for before you seam up is make sure that these little triangles are going up. The, little, the smallest part is on top and the widest part is on the bottom. If you have it this way, you have it upside down. See? So make sure you have it where the um, little part is at the top in the row that you did the that you cro actually crocheted into is at the bottom all right and then the other thing is if you can tell um the way i did my front from my back is my um triangle stitches are puffier on one side than they are on the other side and so i put my puffy stitches to be the outside of my garment All right, and so I did leave a long strand, which I'm sure all you guys did. All right, so now what we are going to do is um, put some little clips, and usually I match the holes up with each other, and I put some little clips to hold these down. Like that. go all right so once you have that if you want you can go ahead and um, mark off you can do seven and a half to eight inch or more if needed on your arm hole and um, I did eight inch on that side, so I'm going to do eight inch on this side. So I basically put a clip right there, and that lets me know to not seam this up because that's my armhole. And so, if you want, you can go ahead and turn it sideways, and um, you can seam up that side as well and then what I do with this one is once again I kind of match up my holes making sure and you just take your clips and um, put these this one's a little harder to do on the side as far as not seaming it up but uh, just checking to make sure because you want your crawl um, treble crosses to go together and you want your triangle stitches to go together so you just need to watch that and it's very important that you clip these just right so that when you get ready to seam it up they match good when you go to open it up because that's going to be your outer garment. However you seam this, and when you turn it inside out, that's your outer garment. So see, I like to make sure my treble crosses are together and my triangle stitches are together. So let's go ahead and start on our top part here. Now we've got it. Now that we've got all our clips on, then thread your yarn needle. Like that. And then basically, we are just going to... 
see if I can get this in the camera good. We're just going to grab, go between the top two stitches and then the top two on this side. And you're just going to seam these together like that or stitch these together. And then I like to do the overview so I can see on top. All right, so you see the, I'm going through the top like that. And then just remove the clips as you work along. It's very easy to do. So, so far, that's what it's looking like right there. And then that's the side that you will be wearing that everybody will see. Oops. All right, when I get to my last stitch or my, that I'm seaming, I take my yarn and I go through that loop and that kind of tightens it down. And then we are going to just kind of weave it. Try not to go on the underside that people see. Try to keep it close to the top the best you can. And just weave that down and kind of stretch that to make sure it's not too taut right there. And then just go back in and do that again. And I'll do it one more time, just for good measure. All right, so now you can cut it. So now you have that, your top. I have this much of an opening on mine, but everybody's is different. Don't forget that, everybody's is different. So there's my armhole. And so now all we do is seam up our side here. So you will need to get some yarn to be able to sew, uh, seam up the sides. Once again, take your yarn needle. We are going to thread our yarn needle. There we go. All right, so now what I do is I take my yarn needle through these bottom stitches here. Like that. Pull, but don't let that tail come out. And then I go back around And I kind of place my thumb there and then I put in that loop just before I close it up. There we go. Tie it in a little, it makes a little knot. All right, so now you need to um, seam up the side, basically just like you did on your top up there, except on this one, you're still doing, making sure you're going through both loops there. But on this one, you've got to make sure that try to not go in the hoe. 
of these stitches, especially like that double, that triple crochet right there, don't seam through the hole. That will look tacky. It will show on the other side. So try to, like, like that, go through the two, but through the, stay in the stitches. Just like that. See, you don't want to go in that hole. It's very easy to do. See how I'm staying in the stitch. See, I did not go in the hole. It will look better on the other side by doing it this way. All right, um, this is what it looks like on that side. See, you don't see any of my strings going through there. All right, um, I will go ahead and finish doing this all the way up to my stitch, my um, clip right here, and I will meet you back at the end of that. So I just finished, and I tied off that. And you just turn it this way. And see how good they look? See why it was important to match up? Your triangles and your double, uh, your triple crosses stitches there. That looks great. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to single crochet all across the bottom. And you can make as many single crochet rows as you want. That's up to you. You need to make sure that you are working on the outside of your garment uh, to make these single crochets and not your inside. And how you can tell your inside is you should have a little bit of a bump where you seam that up. So just make sure you're on the outside of your crochet thing here. All right, so we are just going to single crochet all the way across the bottom edge. So I insert my hook, grab my yarn, and um, I take that strand that I'm crocheting and that I take that strand of yarn and I slip stitch it like that. All right, so we'll need to chain one and then just work one single crochet all the way across. I am taking that little strand of yarn I have left and I am crocheting that in as I go so that I don't have to weave that in when I'm done. So just in each of these chain stitches all the way across, you are going to do a single crochet. Just like that. And you can do as many rows as you need. If you ended up making this where it was a little too short for you, you know, make three or four rows. Give it a little length if you need it. Um, I made mine almost a little too long, and so I'm only going to do two rows on mine. So, but yeah, that's how it looks. I will meet you um, when you get to the end in case you don't know how to chain one and turn your work. I'll meet you at the end to do another row. So I just finished my last single crochet on the bottom of my top of my cardigan here. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to turn my work. And um, we are going to start over. Um, start in that first where you chained one and uh, work a single crochet and then a single crochet in each stitch all the way across the back of your garment. On the bottom edge is where we're working. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. But anyway, um, I will meet you at the end. So I just finished my second row. And um, we are, I'm going to fasten off. So thread your yarn needle. And go ahead and weave that in and out.
just like that. I'll go ahead and fasten that off. All right, so now you want to turn. So make sure you have the inside of your garment out like this. And this would be, if it's on me, it's my right side. There's my neck and there's my other side. There, with my armhole right there. All right, so I'm going to start on this side. And for my uh, border, I'm going to do the front post, back post um, type of stitching. So first of all, we are going to work a double crochet all the way around the front, around the, now around my neckline, I like to do a half double crochet only because it makes my, when this is on my back, it makes my, it makes it stand up too high and um which causes this, I think, sometimes to be a little short in the front by doing that. Get your crochet hook, get your yarn, and in this bottom stitch, the, okay, uh, grab your yarn, pull through. I'm going to grab that strand of yarn to lock it in, which is slip stitch. Okay, chain three, one, two, three. Now, you're just going to try to fit a double crochet all the way evenly across the front the best that you can do because there the this first row is the hardest of figuring trying to figure out where you need to put your hook so there's mine so far See if I can get it a little. Oh, and I'm crocheting that strand in as I go. And I'm really trying to not crochet in these holes. So try, try to crochet like in the stitches like that. Try not to crochet in those holes. Because if you do, you'll have a big gap. All right, there we are. All right, I'm going to, um, I guess, meet you on the other side. And like I said, you can still continue doing double crochets all around the neckline. But when I get to my neckline, I'm going to switch to a half double crochet. All right, all right so I just finished my last double crochet on that front edge. So I'm going to chain three. And um, you can have that count as a double crochet or you can chain one and then turn your work. I am going to chain three and I'm going to turn my work. Now is when we're going to do our front post double crochets and our back post. So I've got my chain three and in this next stitch, I'm going to work a double crochet in the front. This is the front side and that'll be your back side. Your hook will enter this back side if it's a back post, and your hook will enter the front side if it's a front post. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a front post. Do a double crochet like that. Now this next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. So you enter your hook to the back to grab that, to grab that stitch. So your hook goes into the back Grab the stitch, work a double crochet. Front post, your hook goes to the front. It has nothing to do with the hook going into the back of the double crochet. It has to do with the hook going into the front of your work and in the back of your work. 
All right, so now we're going to do a back post double crochet. So we're going, our hook is in the back. And that is what you're going to do all the way to the other side is front, back, front, back, front, back. All right, so we did back. I'll show you a few more times. Front. Like that. And back. Now front. Like I said, make sure your hook is in the front. And if you're doing the back, your hook goes to the back. All right. I will meet you on the other side. Um, you can always rewind this if you need to see how to do that again. I get to my neck. I did the half double crochets. And so that's what I will do again. I'll do front post and back post half double crochets. Just in on that. goes right across the back of my neck. And like I said, you don't have to. Most people, I don't even know if anybody that I know of does that. Um, most people just continue the double crochet all the way around. So that's up to you. Um, how you want to do it. I was just saying how I did mine. Okay, well that's what it's supposed to look like right there. So if you can kind of see different angles. Alright, and I will meet you uh, when you get to the other side. I ended up working four rows of the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet and then I fastened off and I weaved in my ends. So now we're going to add this sleeve on here and you can continue this as long as you want it. This is um, the length that I did. All right, let's go ahead and put the other sleeve on. Make sure that you ha um, are working on the outside of your garment. Uh, make sure that your seams are on the, make sure that your seams are on the inside. Okay, so we are just going to work a single crochet all the way around our armhole. Now mine is about eight inches. So I did 41 single crochets. If you um, made your smaller or larger, your armhole, then just make sure you have an odd number of single crochets. Okay, so as we know, the first row of anything is always a little tougher to do of trying to find your stitches because they're really aren't any stitches. So I'm just going to start like right there, grab my yarn, pull through. I'm going to grab the tail back there, the strand of yarn, and that kind of locks it in its place. I'm going to chain one. Okay, so in that same spot, we're going to work oops we're going to work one single crochet like that and if you want so you'll remember where your beginning is you can always put a stitch marker right there so we're just going to work a single crochet all the way around so that was one and I'm going to crochet that strand of yarn in as I go that was one two three. Like I said, don't crochet in the hole if you can. You'll just try to do it in the stitches. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, that's where we did our seam, and so it was a little tough there. There's 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, oops, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. Okay, so now we have a single crochet base to work with. Okay, so that was row one. Okay, now I have 41 single crochets. I'm going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet, the top there. Going to chain three. And now we're going to work the same um, triangle stitch pattern that we did throughout the whole garment. So as you know, your first one, you will skip that first right there and you'll start your first one in the next three. That's one. Two and three, and you should have seven loops and go all the way through chain two. It's the same stitch we've done through the that you've done through the whole garment, and now you're going to continue that same pattern all the way around. Now, if you end up like me and you had the 41 single crochets, I ended up with uh, 20 triangles. That's one, two, three. Chain two. One, two, three. Okay. And so you're making your triangles. All right. I will meet you um, when we get to the end down here. Okay, so I ended with the chain two. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain one, and we are going to work one single crochet. And so that we can keep up, make sure we have that we don't miss our single crochet when we go to slip stitch. You should have 41 or however many you had on that first row of your single crochet you should have the same amount on this row and so you need I, we did a chain one in the top of that chain three so i mean we did a single crochet in the top of that chain three so now you're going to two, put two single crochets in each stitch around and that should be 41 that was one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and then you put one in the last one and then one in the next one. Okay, so I just finished my last single crochet, so I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. Okay, so my last chain two, to make this equal 41, to, so that I would have the same amount, I put one single crochet in between those the last two, and then one single crochet right there. So um, now I have 41. All right, for the next row, we are going to do our treble crochet. You can do a double crochet cross if you want. Hold on. There you go, slip stitch. Okay, so you can do your cross stitch as a double or a treble for your sleeve. I'm going to do the treble. Uh, I already did it on my other sleeve, so I'm going to do it on this one. But you can do it as a double. So, if you're doing it as a double, you chain three. If you're doing it as a treble, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to do the, the, your normal treble crochet pattern that you did. So, we're going to um, treble in this next stitch. Yarn over twice. Search your hook. Pull through two pull through two, pull through two. Now we're going to do another one, but we're going to do it in that same first stitch there. So yarn over twice, grab that back stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now, let me get my sleeve here. Okay, so now we're just going to work that every two stitches. We're going to do our, we're going to skip one, do one, go back. Skip one, do one, go back. Just like we did in the cardigan. So skip, make our treble. Go back to our skip stitch and work a, a treble in it. Okay, skip a stitch, work a treble in the next stitch. Go back to your miss, uh, skip stitch. And once again, this is the same pattern you've been doing throughout your whole cardigan. And you can do this as a double, though, if for the sleeve, if you prefer. All right, so I'm on my last 
stitch here. Okay, now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three, just like that. Going to chain one, and we are going to single crochet in each stitch around, and we should have, you should have the same amount that you did on your other single crochet rows, and mine is 41. And so just single crochet in each stitch all the way around. If for some reason you have um, more than 41, then just stitch two um, stitches together. If you have less, then do uh, put two double crochets in the same, I mean, two single crochets in one of the stitches, like maybe under the arm or something. That way you'll end up with 41. All right, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I just finished my last stitch. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that single crochet. Now I'm going to chain three. And um, we are going to work, um, we're going to do the same triangle stitch pattern all the way around, just like we did earlier. Same pattern. And um, I believe I ended with 20 triangles. Okay, I will meet you back when you get over in here. Okay, so I just finished my last one. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to put my single crochet. And this is going to be your last row. You're just going to single crochet all the way around. Um, I have one single crochet. You put two single crochets in each of the chain two spaces. And uh, to end up with the other one, I believe uh, there was, I had one single crochet in the last two stitches, but um, I'm going to work all the way around and I'll see. Uh, but just make sure you have the same amount of single crochets as you did all your previous rows. And now it's time to fasten off if you choose uh, for this to be your last row. So it should look like that right there. You should have a triangle row. Well, you should have single, triangle, single, cross stitch, single, triangle, and single. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and just weave your yarn, um, thread your yarn needle, and um, go ahead and weave that, go ahead and weave that in. Okay, so now you've got that all weaved in there. You are ready to go. You're ready to wear your new garment. And isn't that just a beautiful stitch? Look at that. It's very beautiful. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.